Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your reading for, I think it's March 24th, 2023. Please show me what everyone needs to know here or see. Thank you. Or maybe it's the 23rd. It's Friday, whatever it is. All right. Whoa. King of Pentacles in the upright in heart space. This could be a CEO. This could be getting promoted. Could be someone that manages money. Could be someone that's feeling very abundant. You could be feeling, um, the King of Pentacles feels like a landowner to me, so this could have something to do with getting a title. Land title, um, professional title, position of management. In the inspiration, you have judgment in the reverse. You don't wanna make a mistake. You don't wanna, you don't wanna do something wrong. Someone is in a position of authority or they're going to do, they don't want to do, they don't want to cast judgment or they don't want to judge wrong. They don't want to make the wrong choice. They're ignoring, somebody might want them to do something unethical and they're it feels like they're saying no i'm going to do the right thing i'm not going to do this whatever this is i'm not going to make this wrong choice strength in the reverse in strength fears and feelings so this person is maybe on some kind of shaky ground or feeling threatened feeling um but i'm i'm really trying to oh what's the word they're tempted. They're tempted to do something wrong. They're tempted. Um, this is a lack of morals. This person is trying to fortify themselves or buy their protection or someone could be calling in all of their, what everybody owes them. Um, someone's trying to protect themselves with wealth. They, maybe they're about to be judged for taking a bribe or for um, doing something immoral. In their intuition, they have the Knight of Swords. Sorry. So the Knight of Swords means um, knowledge and anger and moving quickly. Um, but it's the Knight of Wands in the upright in their intuition. So they're going to take some kind of action towards this strength in the reverse. Could be something that they did wrong or they're going to do something wrong to maintain this feeling of wealth. The Knight of Wands is the immigrant. Um, the Knight of Wands doesn't commit. They, they, it's like a revolving door. They, they're going to do something and be gone. And they're, they're going towards this strength. So somebody could be um, a military person and they see someone's mistake or just make it fit however you want. But this is like the leader. This is a soldier and they're about to go over this weakened person. Like they, they've, they're waiting, they're biding their time um, and they're going to just move right over this person who's injured, immoral, um, lacking strength, made a bad judgment. So this leader is waiting for this element, person, whatever, to make a mistake. They, I think they, they know they're gonna make a mistake and they're gonna go right over them. They're gonna take action when this person is down. So it feels kind of like a war or a battle. My heart's beating like crazy. Whew, okay, the devil in the reverse is in closure or in action. This is the action you need to take to get to judgment in the reverse. So, okay, the devil in the reverse. No attachments, no addictions, no compulsions, not obsessed with anything. Um, somebody has to let go to do this. They have to let go of the double and the upright, some kind of attachment, some kind of addiction. 
some kind of um, obsession or possession. Let it go. And that will help you to stand up and break some kind of binding. Break, yeah, breaking some kind of binding. Um, okay. And then something else or somebody else is going to make a bad decision. And you are going to know when to... When you can get past them, it's like a gate. It's like someone's not looking, someone is distracted, and this leader is going to direct his troops, or this is also, like this is the same person, is going to know when to move forward. When someone's not looking, someone, or someone, like if it's chess, somebody made the move that you thought they would make, which is their mistake, and then you can move your man and take their pieces. Whew. Three of swords in the upright in the near future. This is very smart, but this is strategic. This is um, heartbreak, betrayal. It's kind of a death card for me, three of swords. It feels like a grave Someone's going, to, there's going to be a grave. There's a grave. This could be somebody going, it feels like revenge. It feels like revenge. It feels like somebody has outsmarted someone that was weak of character. Um, yeah, that someone really has to clear their mind of, this is not revenge. The devil in the reverse is not revenge. So it feels like this person is vengeful and that could have been their downfall. You're marching right over them to the three of swords. Either you're betraying them or they betrayed you and now you're getting even. I don't even want to say these things, but this is what's coming out. The high priestess in the upright. So this king of pentacles... So at the base of this is the high priestess. So that's hearing something. That's knowing a secret. So this king of pentacles knows some kind of secret. And that's how he's going to know when to move forward. To make a point. To um, it's, it's a very smart move. I'm just feeling chess and war. So... Someone is like eradicating the enemy with wit. Three of Swords feels like wit as well. So this could be knowing when to say something to shut someone down. This person is very smart and has a lot of hidden knowledge. The High Priestess. This person doesn't... Um, this King of Pentacles... Like they've killed their ego. They've killed their ego. They're very, very smart. Um, they're making a move at exactly the right time because they've rid themselves of their egoic. They're listening to their true intuition instead of their ego or instead of their fears. They're standing upright. They're breaking some kind of binding or some kind of bond, some kind of toxic bond. <sighs> they don't want to make a mistake. They're, they're waiting for their intuition or for somebody to tell them. There's, there's a, somebody telling them secrets. The two of wands in the reverse behind you is a broken alliance. <clears throat> Someone might have switched sides in some way in this war or in this chess game. Two of wands in the reverse. Surprise, surprise, surprise attack. Whoa. Okay. And this could all be verbal. This could all be shutting someone down, some some real ignorant person down in some kind of discussion. So someone is going to win a war of words, that's for sure. All right, so yeah, and there's the eight of wands in the headspace. Being really excited, having a lot of enthusiasm, um, attraction as well. Someone's moving forward with attraction. Someone is, that's a lot of messages, eight of wands in the upright, dancing, um, going out. You have a group, you have an army. So someone has an army behind them that loves them 
or they love their army, they love this group of people, um, or that could be pets as well. It, it looks like Bambi, um, and then there's a bird. Like it's just like happiness, enthusiasm, a lot of um, energy, a lot of energy. Someone is listening to the earth or they're listening to the deepest part of them, their intuition, the high priest, priestess, sorry. Um, they have big, huge ears, big mouse ears. So there's something about animals here. And they're going to make a surprise move at exactly the right time when this adversary who I think wronged them or um, was, could even be just slander or this is an actual battle or some kind of war or game. Um, but you're gonna win here with the Three of Swords in the upright, but there could be some heartbreak or some despair. But to get through this, you need to put your feelings aside. All right, advice. The Page of Pentacles in the reverse, tell no one. Tell no one. And no one's gonna tell this person either. No one's going to tell this person. You're taking away an opportunity as well. You could be taking away an opportunity from this person that made a bad judgment or is about to make a bad judgment. It's going to fall on their um, honor. Like they don't have any honor. Like they might have wanted to betray. So it's like someone's getting in the way of someone who wants to betray somebody or something. Someone's waiting for someone character or their own bad judgments to get the better of them and then they're going to run past them with that horse the knight of wands in the upright right towards the three of swords so it feels what just came to me was um no one wins a war but you are going to win this battle so bottom of the deck and what you don't see coming is the hermit in the reverse You're wounding someone. So this could be wounding someone's ego. This could be wounding their... Um, they were trying to hide and you're flushing them out. You're flushing them out. And I just saw someone throw a knife at a dartboard. Um, you're hitting the target. You're hitting the target. You're flushing out some kind of enemy. You're flushing out... Um, this could be a neighbor. This could be um, the, the hermit in the reverse. Um, an investigation is over, somebody is exposed, like somebody is known, um, somebody was really sneaky, somebody was, this could be an investigator or like, um, like a, a chief of some kind, a chief. A chief is like, now, go now. He's saying go now to his troops. He's listening for the right moment He's not giving this enemy, look at me shake. He's not giving this enemy an opportunity. He's waiting. He's waiting for this guy to stick his head out of that hermit cave and he's going to catch him. He's going to, um, I don't know, he's gonna get his man. He's gonna get his man. He's This guy, whoever he is, this chief or this officer or this banker or father who is rich or has a lot of money or or works with a lot of money um moves a lot of pieces he moves a lot of pieces around he set somebody up to make this mistake this guy's playing the long game he set somebody up to make this mistake and then he can move in this guy maybe he's gonna run out of money he's depriving this guy of money yeah He's not giving him any money. This guy has the money or he um, controls the money. So the guy that's controlling the money is not going to give this guy any, any money. So this guy's going to have to come out of his cave and then he's going to move in and do something really smart. Betray the betrayer. Betray the thief. Betray the... 
the aggressor, betray the immoral one, whatever it is for you, I'm not sure, but this guy is super excited to get his man. Um, and he's been listening and waiting. He's had his, gr he's had his head to the ground. Wait, okay. He's had his head to the railroad tracks, listening for the train, um, waiting to hear before he makes his move. And it feels like this person, it doesn't feel like this person is bringing him down. It feels like this person is bringing themselves down. And that's when he's going to move past them to this three of swords. It feels like checkmate. And now this other person, <clears throat> this so-called enemy, um, everyone's a lesson, not an enemy. So this other person, they're going to be, they're going to be coming out of their hiding place where they've been watching from. Something to do with the north as well. Um, so yeah, so, okay, they're going to shed some light. And then there's the queen of swords. So, all right, um, this person has information. They're going to give up their information. So this is somebody who has, whatever this means to you, information from the other side, they're going to spill. Um, so yeah, so you're waiting for, for them to falter in some way. And you're going to say something very smart, very witty, um, but it, and it, it could hurt them in a way, but it's going to flush their information out. They're going to, they're going to share their information. This King of Pentacles is then super happy and communicating this information all over the place. Um, possibly saying, this is what I heard. So I don't know, some kind of surprise chess ambush or surprise verbal ambush, or it's an investigation and somebody's literally flushing someone out and they know information about others like them, whatever that means. Um, yeah, all right, that is what I have for you today. Love you guys, have a great day, bye.